everyone, it's Jennifer, your services librarian in Wuma Public Library. How are you guys today? Welcome to STEAM Lab. Today, we're gonna uh, make very simple projectors uh, using simple materials that you can easily find at home. First, we're gonna make this uh, toilet paper roll projectors using this simple materials, rubber bands, plastic wrap, and toilet paper roll. So second projector we're gonna make is the using magnifying glass and a cardboard box and using your cell phone and it allows you to project video on the surface. Projector is optical device that you can project any image or video on a surface and we're gonna make a very simple two types of projectors that you can easily make at home using very simple materials. And yeah, and when you're ready, I'm gonna start. The first projector I'm gonna build is using this cardboard box and magnifying glass. So before I start, I'm gonna explain how this magnifying glass can project a video in that wall. So the lens of magnifying glass is convex, which means its sides bend outwards. This allows it to catch and focus all the light uh, from the inside the box and project it onto the wall. One more thing you have to remember um, using the cell phone and magnifying glass is that you have to uh, lock your screen rotation option in your phone and put your phone upside down so that the image is upside down in the box and when this when you put this magnifying glass inside of this box this magnifying glass will flip the image from the phone right side up so it's similar to our human uh, similar to the human eye as we see images upside down but the, our brain learns to flip the image right side up so make sure you put your uh, phone upside down in this box these are the materials that you need to make cell phone projector so a uh, cardboard box scissors magnifying glass uh, mosh of a marker tape a craft cutter so this you uh, adult only should be using this this is not safe for kids flashlights rubber bands yes these are the materials that you will need for the first activity. Okay, now, I'm going to cut this flat from the box, cardboard box so that I can use this to make the cell phone uh, stand inside the box. So I'm gonna cut this both flat using the scissors. Right. So I have this to make my cell phone stand in the box. Okay, now using this magnifying glass, we're gonna I'm gonna create a I'm gonna create a hole to uh, put the magnifying glass inside, like right here. So I'm gonna attach the magnifying glass inside. I'm gonna trace this magnifying glass using this pen like around here, so that I can attach this inside. So I trace the magnifying glass using pen and you can see the circle here. So I'm gonna use this uh, cutter to cut this circle and this, uh, like I said before, this is for adults only so kids shouldn't touch this and adults should help uh, kids cutting this circle. I have a hole for magnifying glass right here. Okay, now I have this magnifying glass inside of this box. So I'm actually, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna tape this magnifying glass inside of this box around here. So you have to fix, fixate this uh, magnifying glass in around this hole to project the image from the cell. So you can see I taped this magnifying glass in the box. Like this. Okay, now I put this phone inside of the box. So I'm using this small piece for the box right here. So I'm gonna attach this here to um, make the phone stay in right space. So I'm gonna attach this on the 
in the box. So it looks like this. My phone is right here and this little flap is, you can see in front of the phone. So I'm gonna turn the lights off and I will test this projector. See, and we're gonna see what happens. Okay, so I turned all the lights off and as you can see, my phone is playing. And I have this projecting image on the wall right here. It's really, it's a little, it's hard to see from um, this video, but when you try this at home and when you uh, project the image on the wall, you'll be able to see more clearly. So there is a small projecting video right here of uh, one of the Steam video from Mumbai Public Library and it's playing from my phone and it's the projecting image is uh, right you do see that white spot that's the projecting video that you can see on the wall yeah feel free to try it at home and when you try you you can see the image in the wall more clearly than from this video phone is upside down and then there's a magnifying glass and you can um, brighten your screen all the way up and the projector looks like that it's a very simple projector you can make at home and explore how you can um, make this uh, projecting image more clear on the wall you can move this box to the uh, closer to the wall and farther from the wall you can lift it up so yeah have fun with that okay so when you're ready i'm gonna start with the second activity to make a um, toilet paper roll for the materials that you will need to make a simple paper uh, toilet paper roll projector so toilet paper rolls scissors flashlights pen and pencil rubber bands washboard markers tape and primary marker and Okay, plastic. now I have this uh, plastic wrap. It's a good way to practice math skills by projecting numbers on a wall as well. So I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna write a number on this plastic wrap before I wrap this around on a pay, uh, toilet paper roll. So using purple per permanent marker, I'm gonna write number on it. So I'm gonna write number five. It looks like this put this plastic wrap around a paper to a toilet paper roll. I'm gonna flip the number like this. Wrap up using the rubber band like this. And I'm gonna create one more. Now I have, I have number three written in on a plastic wrap right here. And now I'm gonna use this flashlight and I'm gonna turn the flashlight on. Okay, now these numbers are projected from the simple toilet paper roll projectors. As you can see, you can see um, number five and number three on the wall. And then you can uh, practice addition or multiplication using these numbers. And as you can see, I just put this uh, flashlight near this projectors like this so that you can project two um, images at the same time like this or you can put it inside of this paper or you can put a little closer to this um, one of the projector like this but when you do that you only see the light on it you can only see the wall light on the wall so it's uh, you can kind of test how this work better and you can when you lead the light a little farther you can clearly see the number like this so you can kind of explore which way works better and then leave the flashlight closer and then farther and see what happens so now as you can see you can see these two numbers clearly when you put this flashlight farther away like this A snowman on a plastic wrap 
right here so you can uh, have fun using this projector to draw anything you want as you can see you can easily see the snowman on the wall using this uh, projector by projecting the image on it and, and using the light it's you can see this snowman yeah I hope you have fun with this making two types of projectors and I hope you try it at home and using this uh, materials that you can easily find at home and I hope um, you uh, have experiment with that and have fun okay I hope to see you guys next time bye everyone